Okay guys, I'm back. So you're not going to be seeing my face, you're just pretty much going to be hearing me talking because I am going to, I'm the only one operating the camera and I want to focus on what I'm showing you. So this is what I bought. It's a LCD plasma wall mount. Uh, it's a tilt mounting uh, bracket and I just want to show you guys a picture of the box so if you're interested in uh, knowing what to look for you can have an idea of you know what the box looks like now as you can see here this holds up to uh, 32 to 58 inches uh, and it this stand can load uh, hold up to about 130 pounds and um, I have it in black um, so that's that this is my LCD and um, inside of the box comes this bracket and this is the bracket that you're going to be installing on the back of your TV um, I already have it installed on there okay and this as you, it tilts goes back and forth you can rock it back and forth okay um, this is one of the the um, the old clamps that you're going to be using to connect. This also comes in the box with the with the the Walmart bracket, and you're pretty much going to be using this clamp, and this section here is going to go come through the other side of your bracket, and you're just going to be using the bolt to screw it, screw it up, screw it in pretty tight and secure onto your uh, your truss stand. Let me show you what the back of it looks like. Um, okay, well my fan is on so it's not giving you the the best view right now but maybe from the side as you can see it's clamped on pretty, and it fits pretty snugly. I would recommend you getting this one because the inside of it has a, a rubbery like a, a rubbery texture so this way it's gonna hold pretty you know pretty securely onto your you know the rod here or whatever you want to call this the truss stand so you're gonna I'm using two of them alright and I really didn't have to do any modification I didn't have to I noticed most a lot of other DJs they're drilling holes through their bracket to modify it in order for it to fit onto the stand but I didn't have to do any of that. I just bought two of these, ran it through the bracket, put it over the, the, the steel rod, secure it on pretty tightly, and um, it, it's it's holding. It's not going anywhere. See, it's on there pretty pretty securely. It's not going anywhere. Okay, again, this is an old clamp bracket. It, it holds, it's good for about a half to a one inch uh, pipe. Uh, there it is, that's the word I was looking for. This is what they would call a pipe. And um, it's good to hold a half inch to a one inch to fit onto a pipe. And again, it has a rubbery texture. So when you put it over the, the clamp, it will hold on pretty well. Okay, and I'm gonna be now mounting the flat screen onto the stand and I'll be right back because I only have two hands and I'm operating the camera myself so I can only do one thing at a time be right back okay guys this is DJ Rebel here again I'm back and here it is it's mounted on top of the crank stand again this is a American DJ uh, crank stand tool system um, it's it's a pretty solid system I would I would definitely recommend it and um, make sure when you have it um, set up you have your your legs at least I would say at least five six feet apart from each other this way you're making sure it's pretty solid on the ground because if you're doing a party, the last thing you want is this thing to be rocking on you. 
But mine's is not um, extended all the way right now because, well, I'm in my apartment. So again, make sure it's properly extended when you're when you're doing your setup. Um, so here's my Samsung LCD uh, mounted on top of my my stand, and um, I just want to show you guys with this with this um, system. Make sure you bolt there is some when you mount it on the bottom there's at the bottom here there is there are some screws that you have to tighten against the bracket this screw belongs to the the bracket that's on the TV and once you mount it on top of the the bracket that's against the uh, the beam this screw has to come behind I don't know if you can see but it has to come behind the um, the bracket and it, it, it will automatically once once you put the TV on top of the bracket it will automatically rest underneath it so all you need to do is just tightly secure your screws you have screw 1 and screw 2 however you want to call them and um, once you do that, it's pretty much secure. Again, as you can see, I didn't have to do any any type of modica modifications to to the bracket. It's just two O clamps, or you can use three, four O clamps. However, you you know, I'm sure it wouldn't hurt because an extra three or two O clamps on here would make your TV here a lot more secure on your trust stand. Um, so you just need two, uh, three or four oil clamps mounted onto to the the bracket. Put your TV on top of it, and that's it. You don't need to go out and get a big expensive. You know, I don't even know if they sell stuff expects specifically for these for LCD screens, but. This is how it's done. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to show you guys a little, a little video in a minute.